Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again with another math video. And today we're going to talk about axioms or postulates in geometry. So we all know axioms and postulates are still part of the mathematical system in geometry. And in this video, we are going to identify and illustrate postulates involving points, lines, and planes. And also, we're going to state the postulates that will help us justify the given statements made by each figure. So let's begin. Let's identify and illustrate postulates involving points, lines, and planes. So before that, what is an axiom or postulate? So an axiom or postulate is a statement or proposition which is regarded as being established, accepted, or self-evidently true. So again, ang axioms or postulate ay accepted even without proof. So hindi na natin siya kailangan patunayin pa. At siya po ay pwede directly gamitin as reasons when it comes to proving. Okay? So, now, in this video, ang pag-aaralan lang muna natin na postulates ay yung mga postulates about points, lines, and planes. So, first one is the points existence postulate. Under this points existence postulate, we have here three statements. The first one is that space contains at least four non-coplanar points. So, for example, we have this space. So, when we say non-coplanar, these are the points that do not lie on the same plane. Kailangan natin ng plane at kailangan natin ng points. So, yung points na yan daw ay apat ang pinakamaunti pero pwede pang mas dumami. Apat ang pinakamaunti at non-coplanar siya. When we say non-coplanar, hindi natin siya matatagpuan sa isang plane lamang. So, we have here point J, point O, point H on the plane and point N is outside the plane. So, malinaw na non-coplanar siya. And again, this tells us about points existence postulate. Another statement under points existence postulate is that every plane contains at least three non-collinear points. Again, we have a plane. In this plane, meron po tayong at least three non-collinear points. Pag sinabi pong non-collinear, they are those points that do not lie on the same line. Okay? So, for example, again, we have here point J, point O, point H on a plane. As you can see, so yung ating point J, point O, and point H, non-collinear siya. Sa magkakaibang line natin sila matatagpuan. Si point J and si point O, matatagpuan lang natin siya sa line JO, while point J and point H ay matatagpuan lang natin sa line JH. Okay? So, the last statement under points existence postulate is that every line contains at least two points. Again, every line contains at least two points. So, dito ang focus natin ay yung line muna. So, kung meron daw tayong line, meron daw po yung dalawang points. And those two points help us distinguish our line, okay? Every line contains at least two points. So, this is the illustration. We have line JO with the points point J and point O. Another one is the line NH with the points point N and point H. These three statements tells us about the points existence postulate. Una sa space muna. Kailangan may space tayo and dun sa space na yon meron tayong four non-coplanar points. Then, next is every plane contains at least three non-collinear points. So, ibig sabihin naman ito, meron tayong plane at dun sa loob ng plane, meron tayong tatlong non-collinear points. At least lang po ito. Ibig sabihin, pwede po siyang mas dumami. And then, the last one is every line contains at least two points. So, ito nga po, meron tayong line at meron tayo siyang at least two points. Points. Okay? So, that's points existence postulate. Let's proceed to the second postulate about point, line, and plane. We have here straight line postulate. At ano naman kaya ang ibig sabihin itong straight line postulate? We have here two points are contained in one and only one line. In other words, two points determine a line. Kung kanina meron tayong line kung saan nandun daw yung ating point, dito naman po, meron tayong point at itong point na to ang bubuo ng isang line. Okay? So, two points are contained in one and only one line. So, we have here point M. Again, 
ang focus po ng straight line postulate is that we have two points and from these two points may mabubuo tayong yung kanina dun sa ating point existence postulate meron tayong line at dun sa line na yun may matatagpuan tayong dalawang point dito naman meron tayong points at dito sa points ito meron tayong mabubuong line okay two points are contained in one and only one line Okay, so next we have plane postulate. Ano naman kaya ang nilalaman nitong plane postulate? So sabi dito, three non-collinear points are contained in one and only one plane. Or in other words, three non-collinear points determine a plane. So kung wala tayong tatlong points, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng plane. Ibig sabihin po nito, ang unang given dito are the points. So kailangan meron tayong three non-collinear points and pag sinabi pong non-collinear again, wala siya sa isang line so we have here point J and point O form line J O and non-collinear sa kanya si point H and that means meron tayong mafoform na plane using these three non-collinear points so we have here this plane we can name this as plane J O H again, in plane postulate meron tayong 3 points at these 3 non-collinear points determine a plane. So, nauna yung points bago yung plane. Unlike dun sa ating points existence postulate, may plane tayo at sinasabi doon na meron at least 3 non-collinear points. So, medyo related sila sa isa't isa. Yun nga lang, kailangan malinaw sa inyo kung alin ang nauuna. So, sa plane postulate, nauna po ang points. At dito sa 3 non-collinear points na to, makakabuo tayo ng Plane, okay? So, that's plane postulate. Next, we have here flat plane postulate. So, ano naman kaya ang ibig sabihin ng flat plane postulate? So, here we have this statement. If two points are in a plane, then the line containing the two points is in the same plane. This means that we have at least two points. Sabi dyan, two points are in the plane. So, ang plane natin ay plane M. And these two points form a line. So, this is the line JO. That means line JO is also on the plane. Okay? So, malinaw po ba ang flat plane postulate? Okay, so next we have here line intersection postulate and this is our second to the last postulate involving points, lines, and planes. Okay, so here we have this statement, if two lines intersect, then their intersection is a point. So obviously, kapag meron tayong two intersecting lines, mapa perpendicular man yan or simple intersecting lines like this, so lagi po yung may point of intersection. Okay, we have here point A as point of intersection of the two lines, line K, and line R. Okay? Again, if two lines intersect, then their intersection is a point. Next, down to our last postulate involving points, lines, and planes, we have here plane intersection postulate. This says that if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So again, kung meron daw tayong planes, like here plane E and plane N, ang intersection daw ng dalawang plane na yan is the line. Okay, so we have here line AD or DA as intersection of plane N and plane E. One real example of this is yung wall, di po ba? If we have two walls, ano ba yung intersection nila? Di ba po yun ay line? So, yun po ay plane intersection postulate. If two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Okay, now here are the six postulates that involve points, lines, and planes. So, under points existence postulate, nandiyan yung space kung saan meron tayong 4 non-coplanar points. And also, nandiyan din po yung plane. For every plane, there are 3 non-collinear points. So, may plane daw tayo at dun sa plane na yun, may 3 non-collinear points. And then, the last one, every line has at least 2 points. Okay? So, sa isa daw line, meron daw tayong dalawang points. Next is the straight line postulate. So, dito naman, meron daw tayong 2 points at sa 2 points na yon meron tayong straight line na mabubuo. For the plane postulate, meron naman tayo itong 3 non-collinear points at dun sa 3 non-collinear points na yon meron daw tayong madidistinguish or madidetermine na isang plane. Then, for the flat plane postulate, dito naman po ay dalawang points na sa loob na plane. That means, yung line containing that two points is also on that plane. Okay? So, yun yung flat plane postulate. Then, line intersection postulate. So, kapag daw nag-intersect ang dalawang line, ang point of intersection nito ay isang 
point. Then the last one, plane intersection postulate. Pag nag-intersect ang dalawang plane, ang intersection nila ay isang line. Okay? So these are the postulates involving points, lines, and planes. So now let's proceed to our second objective, state the postulate. Okay? So here we have state the postulate you would use to justify the statement made about each figure. So meron daw tayong statement and figure and alamin natin or ibigay natin kung aling postulate ang sinasabi ng figure na to. Okay? So number one, only one line contains point A and point Y. So meron daw tayong point A and point Y at ito daw po ay nasa loob lang ng isang line. Which among those postulates ang pinapakita ng figure na to at ng statement na to. Again, meron tayong two points and then from these points, may nabuo tayong line. So, ito po ay ang straight line postulate. Number two. So, we have plane J and plane M intersect at line E. So, meron tayong dalawang plane. Plane J and plane M. At nag-intersect daw po siya sa line E. Anong postulate po ulit ito? So, this is the plane intersection postulate. Okay? So, number three. One plane contains the points L, M, and E. So, may points L daw tayo, point M, and point E. At ito daw po ay nasa isang plane lamang. So, what again is this postulate? This is no other than plane postulate. Ayan. Nauna yung points and then saka nagkaroon ng plane. Okay? So, plane postulate po yan. Okay, next, number four. There is another point beside point B at line T. So, ibig sabihin po, meron daw tayong line T at maliban daw sa point B, meron pa daw isa pang point. Makakabuo ba tayo ng line kung isa lang yung ating distinct point? Hindi po ba? Hindi po. So, kailangan at least two points. And saan nga po ulit na postulate yun? Nauna si line T at sinasabi dito, hindi lang isang point ang meron dito. So, this is point existence postulate, yung pinakauna. Nauna si line at sa line na yon meron at least two points na matatagpuan. Then, number five, we have line AR lies on plane M. So, we have this line with the points a and point R at nasa plane M daw yan. So, alin po ba yung ganito ang figure natin kanina? We have two points on a plane and the line on that two points is also on the plane. Siyempre, nasa loob nga naman ng plane yung dalawang points, malamang yung line kung saan na saan yung ating dalawang point ay nasa loob din ng plane. And that is flat plane postulate. Okay, so this is the last item on our activity and again, the following are the postulates that involves points, lines, and planes. So under points existence postulate, meron tayong three statements na kung saan, again, yung space muna at sa loob ng space, there are four non-coplanar points. Another is, meron tayong plane at sa plane, meron tayong three non-collinear points and then meron tayong line kung saan meron daw tayo doon at least two points. Then, pag naman straight line postulate, so, dito naman po meron tayong two points kung saan makakapag-draw tayo ng isang straight line. For the plane postulate, given naman po dito ay 3 points at yung 3 non-collinear points na yon ang makakapagbigay sa atin ng isang plane. Okay? And then for the flat plane postulate, so ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, meron tayong line kung saan nandun yung dalawang points. Ibig sabihin po nito yung points na sa isang plane and also yung line kung saan nandun yung point na nandun din sa plane na yun. Okay? Then next is the line intersection postulate. So dito naman po ang intersection po ng dalawang line ay lagi pong point. And then, for the plane intersection postulate, ang intersection naman ng dalawang plane ay palaging lines. Okay? So, that ends our video about axioms and postulates in geometry. And all of the postulates given here are related to the points, lines, and planes. So, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Huwag niyo kalimutang i-like at i-share at mag-comment na rin kung ano ang mga katanungan about this topic. So, that's all and have a great day. Take care always and God bless.